These Fisk University ladies are leaping into history, turning the world of gymnastics on its head as the first ever gymnastics team repping a historically black college and university to compete at the NCAA level. Stop it. I have always wanted to go to an HBCU and do the sport that I love. Freshman Morgan Price was a five-star recruit who initially committed to SEC Powerhouse Arkansas, but she changed her plans last year after learning that Fisk was launching a team. When Fisk came out with the first HBCU gymnastics team, I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. To be able to like have 15 other girls who look like me share the same connections as me, it's just super cool. One, two, three. Zaya Coleman was considering skipping college altogether when Fisk announced it was starting its gymnastics team led by head coach Kareen Tarver. So I was like, I wish like a HBCU school like had gymnastics and then literally two months later, Fisk came out on Instagram. I was like, what? And so then I emailed Coach Tarver and I was like, this is what I wanted. Fisk University, situated in Nashville, Tennessee, was founded after the Civil War and for generations has been a place that celebrates black excellence. The head coach of the gymnastics team, Kareen Tarver, is well aware of what it takes to break barriers. One of the big guns for Georgia, Kareen Wright. 34 years ago, she became the first black gymnast to win the NCAA all-around title. Beautifully executed. I didn't know that I'd be the first black gymnast. I found out later, obviously, in a, you know, probably in a interview session after the fact, I was like, oh, really? Because I just assumed it happened before. I mean, why wouldn't have happened before? Tarver uses her own experiences to guide her trailblazing team. We're the first, we're the blueprint. So yeah, there's, there's times when I'm up at night <laughs> panicking a little bit going, oh my gosh, this, we gotta make this work, this, this has to happen. I can't wait to give Kareen a big hug and just to say thank you for what she's doing. Another champion from that era, three-time Olympian Dominique Dawes. Awesome Dawson, of course, was a member of the Magnificent Seven, that legendary 1996 Olympic squad that captured team gold in Atlanta. Dawes was the first black gymnast to win an individual Olympic medal. Earlier this past year, Serena Williams did mention that she had watched me and I was an inspiration for her. And again, that's humbling um, that I could inspire people. These days, Dawes runs her own gymnastics academy. She's quick to point out her predecessors, like Lucy Collins, seen here competing in 1982, who became the first black female gymnast to make an Olympic team. And Diane Durham, who in 1983 became the first black gymnast to win the U.S. National Championship. Dawes says the sport has historically put black gymnasts at a disadvantage. I know when I stepped into the gymnastics gym that I was perceived as a deduction because of my flat feet or my bow legs or having a bit of a body, a butt, and having more of a muscular athletic physique. It chokes me up just because <clears throat> the culture and the sport of gymnastics made young African-American girls like me feel as if we were not enough and that it was not a sport for us. But she says times are changing. Today it's a little different with the scoring system changing. I love the fact that you have the likes of Simone Biles that's dominated. Gabby Douglas has been an inspiration. And the sport is now embracing all different body types. And I think that makes the sport um, something that I think it will open doors for more young girls of color. Black gymnasts are now excelling in the sport in unprecedented ways. Just last August, black women placed in the top three, sweeping the podium at the U.S. National All-Around Championships. Social media is also playing a role in spotlighting gymnasts determined to showcase their culture with routines breaking the internet. In 2021, UCLA gymnast Mark Zetta Frazier and Nia Dennis went viral with their floor exercises. Mark Zetta joining Janet's Rhythm Nation. Nia throwing up a fist to Kendrick. I think the sport of gymnastics needs to be more inclusive. I think there's much more work that needs to be done. Dawes hopes the sport continues to evolve. These young women are part of Fisk University. They know they're more than enough. They are strong, they are empowering. Dawes herself posted a video on Instagram of her attending Fisk's latest competition this past weekend. For the Fisk gymnasts, there's also another goal they're working to reach. Right now we're working out in a, another facility, in someone else's facility. So we want to build a gym on campus. 
But for these athletes and their coach, it's ultimately about more than just the sport. It's about sisterhood. I had never met these girls a day in my life, and it was like we were laughing and joking around as if we've known each other our whole lives. It's very exciting because it's like we're making history. This is in the books. We have something to prove, and we can do what y'all can do, and we can show up and show up. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.